haven't fought as frequently as some other fighters. You know, some fighters will fight like three times a year. You've kind of had a slower amount of frequency the last few years. Do you think that gives you maybe a little bit of advantage? You feel a little bit more rested up, at least for this fight? Um, uh, well, yeah, it can be if you think about that. You know, uh, I'm not fighting that much, but I'm training a lot. You know, I'm, I'm ready to fight since October last year. So uh, it was it was pretty hard, you know. I was getting prepared to to fight uh, to fight uh, one of the guys or, or Velasquez or Verdun. If one of them pull out of the fight, they they told me to get to get, get prepared for that. And so I was getting prepared for that. And so I was training. Then I was getting prepared to fight Stefan Struve. He got hurt, pulled out of the fight. So you know, a lot of training was going. You know, I was doing, but. Um, it's good sometimes, you know, to, to keep a good uh, um, uh, frequency of fights because then you can feel better. But uh, it's all about your mind, I think. You know, I'm feeling good. I'm confident. I know I can go there and beat this guy and beat the champion again. Thanks, you. Now, you recently had a child, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So how, how does that change uh, motivation and, uh, and ability? You, pro you probably have some more sleepless nights with a, a baby in the house. <laughs> yeah, that's true, but uh, it, ch it changed everything. Actually, people were, were, they were trying to explain me how it would be for me to be a father, you know? But man, they couldn't get even closer to the, the, the feeling, you know? It's amazing, you know? I'm living, I, I can say, a dream because uh, my son is everything for me and uh, now everything is like I said you know it's changing inside of me you know my goals I, I, I don't want the things uh, the same things I used to want in the past you know now I want new things I want something always involving him as a priority in my life it's it's been amazing you know to be father and I'm I'm, 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 I'm sleeping pretty well because my my <laughs> wife she, she's helped me, she's very supportive, and she's helped me a lot and take, taking care very well of our son. With her, with my mother-in-law, she came to help her, so that's good. So not a distraction, but actually gives you strength? Yeah, that's for sure, not a distraction. Actually, that uh, my son is, I think, is making me stronger than uh, I was before, you know, because now, I feel I'm not, uh, I don't want all those uh, crazy things I was, <laughs> I, I was thinking about before, you know, to do this, to do that. Now it's all, you know, everything what I want is to, go, to have a good life and take care of him. Now you fought before uh, with Stipe. Does that give you mentally an edge going into this or does it put more pressure on you that you beat him before and that, that you need to beat him again? <clears throat> Well, uh, uh, it doesn't, you know, put me, put more pressure on me because uh, the way I feel, I think I'm fighting a, a, a true guy, a, a, a guy who, who is a fighter who is made of truth because, you know, this guy is a real deal and he's doing a great job as a champion. So I admire him. But of course, there is just one champion in the world, you know, and that guy's going to be me. So I'm, I, I put in a really good work in the gym. And I'm ready to go there and, and take that belt from him. Now, I asked him about his loss, and, and he said that he's built upon that loss against you to become the fighter he is today. So do you fully expect a much better uh, fighter in Stipe this time around? Yes, I do. I do. I, I, I'm expecting a better Stipe Miocic at this time because... Uh, when you lose a fight, you know, then you, 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 you study yourself a little better. You understand yourself a little better and you become stronger then, you know, and I think that what, what happened with him, you know, so we could see him on his, his last fights. My gosh, he was really well. He did really well. So now I'm, expe I'm expecting to, to fight a better Miocic. For, for yourself, what fight was that for you? Uh, and who you fought that helped you launch you to be a better fighter? Well, yeah, that was a really good fight, you know, and that taught me a lot. That, uh, we cannot underestimate nobody, you know. This guy was doing a great job, but uh, uh, I was... Huh? 
as lutas que você perdeu, quais foram as lutas das quais ah. você mais aprendeu para evoluir como lutador? Ah, oh, God, I'm sorry. I was, uh, I was considering just that, that, that fight. <laughs> um, well, the, I think all, of, all, all the fights, you know, that I won and that I lost, they taught me a lot, you know, but I, I learned, I have learned a lot, you know, of, in my career, I have ha I've had some uh, good experiences and now I think I'm more mature, I'm more experienced guy and I, I'm going to be able to use this in my favor during the fight. And what, what do you see the outcome being and the future, the rest of 2017 for you and your family? Uh, it's going to be, I said in the beginning of the year, that's going to be my year, you know, 2017 is going to be my year. My biggest, uh, uh, my biggest victory already came, I already arrived here, you know, my son. But of course, it's going to be another great victory in my life. And let's see, 2017 has uh, a lot of time to go and uh, I have, I can do a lot, a lot of great things for me and my family.